Greta Thunberg appeared on the world stage in August 2018 after staging a one-girl protest outside the Swedish Parliament. Swept up on a wave of public imagination, Greta has become the poster girl for the climate emergency, an emergency which a recent study shows could be practically eradicated by planting billions of trees. A relatively inexpensive and some would say quite pleasant solution. However, we're not going for the inexpensive pleasant solution. Instead, the millions of people around the world who are panicking about the climate emergency are protesting in support of the United Nations' favoured solution. That solution is the creation of a $100 trillion carbon bond market. It won't do anything to reduce CO2 emissions, but then it's not designed to. However, it will require a lot more tax revenue, as the carbon trading will be taxpayer subsidised. Of course, the taxpayer won't get any financial benefit from the trading, but billionaire oligarchs and multinational financiers will do very well out of it. We will all be able to pay much more for our energy, which will again create more profits for multinational corporations. This is what the climate emergency is essentially all about. One of Greta's most outstanding achievements is that she addressed the United Nations COP24 climate summit in Poland. The mainstream media around the world made a great deal out of her addressing the United Nations. A 15-year-old environmental activist from Sweden is scolding world leaders on what she says is their failure to address climate change. She accused the negotiators from nearly 200 nations of abandoning young people and stealing their future by refusing to commit to measures that will truly halt global warming. We were led to believe that the gathered world leaders couldn't tear themselves away from her essential message. Because like us, they recognise the seriousness of the climate emergency. So, let's take a look at Greta delivering her speech to the gathered throng of United Nations luminaries. You say you love your children above all else, and yet you are stealing their future. We have not come here to beg world leaders to care. We have come here to let you know that change is coming whether you like it or not. Now let's have a look at who Greta was talking to. Thank you. That's right, nobody at the United Nations actually bothered to turn up to listen to what Greta had to say. The reason for this is Unlike the vast majority of people who have swallowed the monumentally stupid idea of the climate emergency, they know it's all a load of rubbish. 